What's up ladies and gentlemen? Today we are gonna be talking about your stick upgrades for the DJI FPV. Let's go. All right, so as you saw in the title, this is a stick upgrade. I am now able to use this and adjust my stick height. Let's talk about why this is important. I come from using like a Tyrannus or a Futaba. I've been back and forth and maybe I'll make a video about that. But basically those radios, traditional radios, allowed you to use these aftermarket um, stick ends where you could adjust the length. It's important because it allows you to gain more physical resolution, mechanical resolution when you're moving your stick. So this is especially important when it comes to smoothness and flying style. Originally, I thought shorter stick better because I thought, you know, when it's a stick shift on a car, for example, short shift is a really popular you know, upgrade. But one thing that that's different from this is in a car, you're just going one, two, three, four, five, six. This, how much resolution between the throw from end to end, that matters. When I first approached it, kind of had the wrong impression. And of course, like I quickly realized, okay, for maybe for racing, shorter stick throw might be more advantageous because you can get to the throttle faster, 100%, right? For the Tyrannus, there was an upgrade where you could get a shorter throw. Like the gimbal itself was shorter on the throttle. And I had gotten that and then I was flew with it. I was like, I'm just, I'm not flying that well. Uh, and it was because I had effectively, you know, lost the resolution. The problem with this, with the original sticks, for the DJI FPV is that it's really short. You know, I think it's because they don't really understand that, you know, we, we want as freestylers, cinematic flyers, as much resolution as possible to fly as smooth as possible. For racing, yeah, you want like erratic, quick maneuvers that will get you there faster. Uh, and it doesn't matter if it's smooth or not. We just wanna, we're not worried about the visual quality. If we are, then we have to be smoother, which means more stick resolution is necessary. So these, these gimbals are already mini size. So we're kind of at a disadvantage here. Hopefully they will release a pro version of this and you know it'll have full-size gimbals but until then this will have to serve as the intermediary solution so let's talk about these sticks so these come in two parts the gold side and the silver side I have it extended all the way out but basically these snap together it's a counterclockwise um, situation right screw it's counterclockwise so that when you do screw it in to to here it will stay stay put so it's counterclockwise that's how you screw it in counterclockwise before you tighten that up you can adjust the height by screwing this in and out right so you can have it longer or you can have it all the way short all the way down here if that makes sense and just to give you a comparison, I just want to show you the original here. So this is the original stick length, which is very, very short. But, you know, if you put this back on here like this, it's just a little bit longer, you know, so you can go from there all the way to this one, which is almost double the height, I would say. Yeah, so it's almost, almost double the height, which is pretty intense. I haven't actually flown it yet. I've been very, very busy, which is a great thing, you know, but um, I haven't had a chance to try this out. But what I want to do is I want to do some sim flying, which, um, you know, I think a lot of beginners are watching some of these videos. And one of the best things that you can do is just practice on the sim. And you probably know this, but I also want to put in my two cents because I did try the DJI uh, sim and I don't like it. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a video on it, but I mean, I got, I got sick. I got like sick to my stomach. Like it was, it was not good. Although I will say, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just, just the new simulators. Maybe it's the refresh rate or something. It does something to my eyes. I'm not a video game person. I, I need things to be real. But I think it's something where my brain thinks it's real and I don't think, I know it's not real and there's a disconnect there and I just get like, bleh, I just get sick. My favorite sim is called FPV Freestyler. Sorry, it's called FPV Freeride. I just checked. Uh, 
and they have two versions. There's a F, there's the original FPV Free Rider, which is free. I think it's free, which is why I like it so much. And it also runs on like any computer. That's another thing. Like if you have an older computer, all these new Sims, like it's, it's not you're not going to do well. Um, and they also have the FPV Free Rider Recharge, which has higher graphics and stuff like that. But like I said, I had an older computer that that I tried it on a couple years ago, and it wasn't. It was just too choppy and I didn't really like it. You couldn't really fly, you know? That's why I like the original FPV Free Rider. You just plug it in, you calibrate the sticks, and it's good to go. One thing I found out is that this controller, this controller, this DJI controller, does not like USB-C to USB-C for some reason. So I had to use my dongle and then go USB-C to regular USB. And I think maybe that's because of the software or something. Um, so it's probably the sim, but that's just a quick workaround. And I highly recommend FPV Free Rider because it's it's free and it's 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 really similar. I would think it's like the gravity is not accurate, of course. Like none of them are. But if you compare that to the DJI one, it's just the DJI one is just absolutely terrible. Terrible. It does not give you an accurate representation of how this thing flies. And I found that in FPV Free Rider, the floatiness of this is pretty similar, actually, to the DJI FPV drone. So, you know, you don't have to do anything other than just calibrate it. But yeah, maybe I'll make another video about that. But this one is about the stick. So let's just um, let's just uh, plug it in, and I'll first fly with the original sticks and then I'll then switch over to the longer sticks and I can kind of show you I'll try to show you the difference it's more of you have to just you have to just try it yourself yeah all right let's just jump in there okay so the the, the floatiness of this is very very similar in my opinion to the DJI FPV for some reason like it this it doesn't feel like this with a regular FPV quad But for this, for some reason, is very, very similar to the DJI one. Because the DJI one does not feel like a regular FPV quad. I'm telling you right now. So you can see there, I am smooth with my movements, but... I guess it's not that bad. Because I guess I got used to this, but... Let's see if it makes a difference. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. You know, maybe you don't need resolution. I mean, I doubt it. I think you do, but. Okay. So there's the. Let's exit. Or you no. Know, let's just pause it. Okay. So now let's pause it. Let's remove these, and we're gonna put these new ones on here. These fancy ones. I wish they could have just made it in black. Like, just make it in black. Like, you don't have to make this all bling bling, you know? Gold and silver and all. Just make it black. Okay, here we go. Resume. Oh, yeah. That's way more resolution now. You can probably see that. And it probably throws me off a little bit. I don't know. This. The thing is, the sticks are long. Immediately. Oh, it's, it's kind of weird, actually. Maybe I need to shorten this a little bit. Yeah, so the great thing is you can adjust this to what you're comfortable with. I'm gonna shorten this, I probably. Because now I feel like it's too long. You have a long stick on a mini gimbal. You know what I mean? So it's a little bit strange. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's shorten it a little bit. Right now it's all maxed out, so. Like I said, counterclockwise. And then. I want to shorten this guy probably like half. I don't know, to like there. Okay, let's do that to the other side also. You can have different size sizes on each side, but I would probably assume that, you know, everybody's used to the same length for both sides. And you can't get it exact, but you can kind of get it in the ballpark. And I highly recommend doing this before you go out and just fly because when you change anything with your controls, it's going to be weird. So if you're flying the actual drone, it might feel really weird and you might just like totally crash it. So this is why I, I recommend, you know, just doing the sim. It's just good for practice anyways. Here we go. 
though. So you know, one thing that I might want to do is I might want to increase the tension now. Now that, yeah, so you can play around a little bit more. I feel like when there's when there's more leverage, you want it, you want there to be a little bit more stick tension, possibly. Also now, for for people who want to try thumbing versus pinching, you can try now. This is because longer sticks are for pinchers, so you have more fine controls like this, right? And you probably wouldn't have had this kind of control with a shorter stick, especially like when you're going slow. Um, and a lot of times for cinematic shots, you don't want to go so freaking fast. The best flyers will fly in 24 frames, real time, but actually slow. That's slow motion is cheating, you guys. So you you want to you want to be a pro. You just got to be a better flyer. And this is one thing that's going to help you. And of course, you're going to have to practice, but you can also practice pinching. I kind of do like a hybrid, which is a thumb pinch hybrid. So this kind of gives me control, but also gives me, I can like whack it if I want to, right? Because the, the stick is long, this allows me to kind of give me some stops. This finger is giving me a physical stop that I'm used to no matter what controller I'm on. It's like a bump stop, right, on a car. Of course, the simulator is not gonna be, you know, your best gauge for like how it really is, but it will give you good practice, you know? Oh, of course I crashed. I think I'm gonna have to play around with this and you're gonna have to play around with this, but that's kind of my overview of, of this thing. I think this gives you a lot more versatility, gives you more options instead of this, which is, I think it's fine, but it's just, it doesn't, it's not a one size fit all. This is more like customizable for you. You can practice in the sim, which I highly, highly recommend before you go out and crash your drone like, like I did, right? Go out and try it. Uh, hopefully there's a link down below to where you can go and get it. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Love you guys. See you in the next video.